hello guys welcome once again in this video um, we will see how to use loops with your lab view programs so till now we have uh, this uh, numeric control and numeric indicator and when i increase the, this numeric value this indicator will be increased by the multiple of 5 but here you can see there are two buttons there is run button and there is run continuously button and if you want this program to respond continuously you need to press this run continuously and if you run this program only once or press this button it just responds one so there is there are controls in lab view to uh, run your program continuously with the help of loops so let's see how we can do that first of all uh, let's uh, add one more indicator here so i will go to first of all i will right click and go to numeric indicator and you can take a tank or whatever indicator you would like to have indicator means the output so just remember that this is the output and this is the output and the control means the input what you are given so right click once again numeric controls that means this we will use for giving the inputs let's take a pointer slide and drag and drop here and in here instead of this constant I will delete this constant and I will right click delete wire branch and once again I will connect this by this multiply sign and the output I can see here also on the numeric indicator and I will connect this output with this tank also so this will also increase okay so once you have done that just right click and here you will see the function palette just pin it down and if you have just this you can just click here at the bottom this arrow and you will see the detail list go to programs and go to structures and here you will see uh, the loops and other structures this for loop and uh, while loop are used extensively in lab view for loop is used whenever you know the number of uh, turns or number of iterations you need to give you your loop and the while loop runs continuously until you stop it so we are going to use while loops so just click it and go to your block diagram and just cover your program with this loop like this and you can make it bigger also so your loop is complete but you will see here your run button is showing some error so just click it and it says that while loop conditional terminal is not wired that means you haven't given your loop to a condition to stop or when it stops so just go to this red button here just right click and we are going to create a control for that so just click create control and you will see this stop button here when this stop button comes here on the front panel also you will be able to see this stop button so when you press this stop button your while loop will stop so now let's try and run our program by the meantime your run button will not show error now so just hit run button not run continuously but run button and when you increase your slider from here you see it's increasing this tank here also right but 
you also see that when I just increase this slide slightly up to 2 it, in, it fills the tank totally so this you can uh, adjust by going into the property of this tank so you can just right click go to the properties and you can give the scale from here so here there is appearance data type scale so you can give 0 to 100 scale to this okay and we make it 10 and we run it once again and now you see that your tank is filling as this slider moves up and down so this is uh, very useful when you want to run your program continuously but whenever you uh, run your program continuously it runs very fast and it takes lot of machine uh, memory and uh, memory cycles and that may or may not be useful for your application sometimes you may not need to uh, run your while loop so fast so what you can do is you can give a, a wait signal to your while loop so it will wait for some time and then it uh, it rates once again so how you can do it just right click your function palette once again or we ha already have this function palette pinned here and go to programs and in here you will see timing just click timing and we are going to take this weight from here and drag and drop into your while loop and for this also just right click and we are going to create a control for that so create and go to control and from here you can give the millisecond in to this control or from here this numerical value in millisecond you can give from here and it will it rates after that many milliseconds so let's make it 100 milliseconds and now run your program once again and now your program runs as it is but it it rates every 100 milliseconds and you will see there is no change in the response and your other resources are also not engaged to this program so this also you can do let's increase this weight a more and you can you see here there is a delay when I move this slide for some time you can increase it and you will see the response delay here so I move it and you will see the response a little bit late after 10 seconds so here you have you go so in this video I just wanted to let you know or how to use loops while loops and how to give weight or timing signals to your loop I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something new this time please keep watching these videos and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now